These two men are now accused of causing a deadly crash over the weekend in Westminster, and police say Adrian Lau and Chimson Hune were street racing at the time. One of their cars hit another vehicle at 105th and Sheridan. The 21-year-old driver of that car died, identified today is Annika Williams. Our Jamie Leary live at that scene right now. And Jamie, oh, it's so tragic, so senseless when street racing claims a life. And Jim, community members have been very vocal about street racing. They say it's a constant problem along Sheridan. Not only that, but we spoke with one community member who says this particular intersection, 105th, where that victim was taking a left-hand turn, is a dangerous intersection. The biggest thing is that there's a big hill there, and so when you're turning left there, it, it's almost a blind spot that if you're trying to yield and make that turn, if someone's going the speed limit. And trying to make that turn here when people are literally racing toward you. I can see exactly how something like this would take place. Just after 9 p.m. on Sunday, a 21-year-old woman was headed north, attempting to make that left turn at 105th and Sheridan when she was struck and killed by one of two southbound vehicles racing each other. Both drivers charged in the incident remained on scene and are now in custody. Ryan Varner doesn't live far from the scene. He says the dangerous intersection is a problem for him, but the street racing is the biggest issue. It is constant. In this particular area, almost every single night, even at two or three in the morning, you just hear loud cars speeding off and racing each other. And it's just, it's a nuisance, um, to say the least, to have them all racing around our area. But then now, when you factor in someone actually being a victim, of uh, manslaughter. I mean, it's just, it's too, it's gone too far. He says something needs to change. I just wish there was a higher police presence, especially late at night, starting eight, nine o'clock at night, throughout the night, and just kind of keep an eye out because, like I said, this isn't just some one off situation. There's racing going on every single day in that area. Both men involved in this incident are being charged with reckless driving and vehicular homicide. Between August or April and August of this year, Westminster Police participated in a task force with the state to combat street racing. They say they have police stationed at every major thoroughfare in the city where street racing is a problem. Reporting live in Westminster, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Jamie.